All right, back to fantasy football. Let's do it. We okay. got some. Let's rookie, finish this up. Yes, we got sir. some rookie running back rankings to finish up here. We just took you all the way through number eleven, and now we're on number twelve. You guys want to go Mark Walton here? Is that what you want to do? So I think just like we had to talk about Freeman and Balage and Balage being the home run cut, and I, I kind of poo-pooed Walton for a minute. I'm going to bring Walton up here and say, I think from the talent, the raw talent aspect that we talked about, you know, he's it's probably he's probably warranted as a as a nice home run cut right here. He's the youngest back out of all these guys, or he's one of the younger backs out of all these guys. I think he's still 20. Um, so that that leans well for him being a little raw, maybe lean, you know, needing to learn. <laughs> Nimbly, bimbly, yeah, yeah to needing to learn a little more in, at the next level. I'm not 100 percent sure, like I said, if he's just a really good athlete or if he is a running back. But there's plenty of time for him to figure that out at the next level. I mean, he's a ridiculous athlete. Yeah, um, for sure. I think he's very quick and explosive, especially when he's healthy. He did deal with two different ankle injuries, one of which ended in surgery. Cut his 2017 year short. Not sure why he's maybe not going back to college for another year could really right. boost up his why not stock. Bet your, why not bet on yourself? But I don't know. He's going to go make some money. He's going to get drafted. Um, I think he's got a pretty strong lower body. I really like his physique down there. I think he can get his pads his low. physique <laughs> down there. <laughs> no homo. Uh, that so that's that's that <laughs> pretty homo. <laughs> not there's anything wrong with that. Anyway. No, of course not. Obviously. He can get his pads low. I think he can push the pile. I absolutely love him running routes out of the backfield. He crushes it well, in the screen game. Absolutely. And a lot of times, the game looks pretty easy for the dude because it's pretty fluid, and he bounces around nimbly bimbly, and he's super too stop much, and go. A little too much ad libbing, maybe, for me. Maybe needs to get that a little under control. And that's the point that I, that I would want to make is that it seems to be like he's reacting versus anticipating sometimes. And, but his, and maybe knowing, knowing where he should be going and wh- what he should be doing rather than just relying on being so good. It's the athleticism. Right. Helps him cover up, sure. Having to react versus anticipate. So I'm I'm okay with with taking Walton ahead of these guys as kind of a home run cut, but most likely somebody else is going to like Walton more than me. That's true. And take him, and that's fine because I'm actually pretty excited to draft Wadley or Justin Jackson late round as a great pass catching player to really help my team out. Um, and I'm not really 100 percent sure what I'm getting with Walton, except I know he's a He's a blue chip prospect and, and and a really solid athlete. And and another thing to add for a pro for Walton is that he has what they call contact balance. When he 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 does not get put off balance. Like there was a sick play versus Florida State in, back in 2016. It actually got called back due to some yeah. bogus holding penalty that had no effect on the play. But he scored this touchdown where he got spun around and like his dang helmet hit the ground. Yeah. And I guess if your helmet hits the ground, that's not a body part to, to, to put you down. Did not know that. And he stayed up, somehow kept his balance. It was amazing. Spun, spun back around spun and scored. Spun out of it and then scored a touchdown. And, like, these terrible ACC refs threw this bogus well, holding call. It, it was a hold, but was it had it? nothing to do with the play. I don't know if it was a hold. I, it was, I it was saw a, it. It was I didn't a dumb like hold. The ACC oh, the refs are just terrible in general. But the holding calls. Overall, dumb. this dude, he, he's a bit of a glider. He's a long strider, which I guess could be a knock on him. Um, But I think he's got some power to finish some runs, and I think he gets up to full speed almost immediately, and he gains a lot of ground with that jump cut. There's just a ton of athletic ability that jumps off the screen at you, and and when I started watching this dude right off the rip, I was like, oh, my gosh, Like I got to get this guy. I got to rank him real high, and then it it took me going throughout the process of really getting into it and rewatching games and – figuring out what was going on with the injury and the teams that he was playing and the games that I was watching to, to and then and then taking into account everybody else I, I like I don't think I want to take him here at 12 right I think I want to take Akram Wadley but it's hard to argue with Walton he does have I think he's got more name cachet he's definitely we've got him farther down on our list than anybody else does I think like DLF's got him at seven or eight they got him pretty high people are probably gonna love him he's probably about to crush the combine and he's probably Can about he, to is he, blow is he up. Is he going to be right for the combine? Yeah, I don't know if his ankles could be good enough to, for him True. to crush the combine. That's a decent point. That could. That could. I'm. I'm. I'll. I'll leave it at this. I'm going to go right back to what I said. I think it's a good home run cut on raw athletic talent here, and I can't argue with you. If 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 you want to snag him here, probably somebody else is going to snag him before I'm ready to snag him. Um, it's not a knock on. You know, I, I'm okay with having him here. I just I don't love him as much as maybe. the 
these other guys that you're talking about. And in, 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 but there's there's this receiving game that's yeah. pretty attractive. Sure. He had 56 receptions for 200, sorry, 624 yards in uh, only 30 total games, which that's yeah, pretty that's, solid, that's right? Fantastic. That's enough to draft him right there alone. Right. And I thought uh, I thought he looked pretty pretty solid in pass protection. Um, he's definitely good at chipping and breaking off the line of scrimmage, kind of like these other dudes. And he's got that awareness. I loved him in the screen game. He can break tackles. He also returned kicks his freshman year, so I think that's something that could possibly get him on the field. Yeah. I um, mean, he had he had over a thousand all-purpose yards as a fr- as a true freshman. Um, Ten total touchdowns as a true freshman. So sure. the dude's got some awesome ability. It's hard to knock him here. I think I I think I think this is a similar conversation. Like we just had this debate between Kalen Balage and Royce Freeman, home run cut versus safeness. And I think that Walton is a similar Walton versus Wadley and Jackson is a similar conversation. Like home run cut versus safeness. And I think that Walton also has the athletic ability to to give me a ceiling higher than the safeness of what he also brings to the table if that makes sense it's, a, it's just plus it's plus side on on the better athlete prospect over wadley and justin jackson from a profile of a body type and athlete standpoint is yeah. basically why i'm perfectly okay with slotting him ahead of the, these two guys and if you want i guess some people probably have him ahead of royce maybe you have him ahead of a balage you know pick yeah he's you all know, he's some people have him ahead of kelly yeah there's definitely a four or five player swing here when you look at a mark walton and you know balage is it's up there on some people's list